uh, resource collecting and a little bit of finishing off to the um, kind of workshop here. Uh, now I decided to record the, um, the resource gathering but just with no audio on it so it would basically, uh, as you guys you know, may be aware, I may already have uploaded it but it's just basically the sounds of Minecraft. Now, here you can see we have uh, the interior of the workshop is getting close to being complete. So up here we have, this is where we would keep our tools, uh, you know, like a tool shelf sort of thing. We've got our chests here, which are going to get a little light frame to tell us what's in there. So that must be, well, did have cobblestone, but I picked all the cobblestone up, but we'll see why in a minute. And these are on shelves, and then we've got the ones for kind of clay and stuff like that. And we've got our big kind of uh, industrial size oven here. So yeah, very happy actually with the workshop. I like it a lot. Um, uh, it's not finished. There's still a few bits and bobs to be done to it as well. And I was even thinking about putting in like a mezzanine on, on it as well. But we'll see. We'll see. You know, these are things for another day. Um, the chimney's done as well on the outside. I think it looks a bit better now that it's uh, nice and tall. Um, and we've got the kind of factory style roof up there as well, uh, which I actually really like. I think it's just something a little bit different uh, to you know, your normal kind of box standard roof. Um, and yeah, I think it looks good. It just, you know, it makes it look a little bit more industrial. It doesn't look like a house, you know, whereas this looks more like a house, I think. Nothing much has changed with the house. Um, just a ch I noticed that I had a weird thing going on with these steps, so I adjusted this so that now it, it, it kind of reaches all the way across. And, uh, I may even do a thing where it comes down this way as well. So it's kind of, you know, you, you don't have to walk all the way around here to get up to there. Um, the farm is pretty much expanded now. I've got to get rid of this uh, chest. Uh, crafting table uh, water sounds lovely today uh, if we can take this now I don't know what we've got left in this chest actually oh wow we've got loads of stuff so we can go and sort this actually now while we're here I didn't realise I had so much stuff in there wow that's where all my resources went to uh, we've got some diorite Polished iron, dirt. Uh, okay, well, I'll have to come back to the rest of it. I had no idea I had all that stuff in there. I mean, obviously, I put it in there, I must have just forgotten about it. But while we're doing this, I'll tell you a little story um, about how my last couple of days have gone. So, I've had a few days off work, uh, not for sickness or anything, just holiday and all that um, but not really done anything just uh, wanted to catch up on some stuff at home and you know visiting friends and all that sort of stuff um, and uh, while I was here I thought obviously I'll uh, play some games and uh, you know all that sort of stuff uh, where we can put the seeds I guess the seeds want to go in the kitchen don't they uh, but before that I'll put away this stuff um, yeah, so I obviously took a little bit of uh, just just a few days off work. Um, also, it's my first kind of holiday since Christmas, and uh, Christmas is a pretty busy time. So uh, that was nice as well. So yeah, took a few days off. Now, I did something incredibly stupid. Uh, uh, it was a couple of days ago, in fact. I was having my breakfast. Um, if you want to know what my breakfast was, it was very nice. It was uh, crumpets, which uh, are an English uh, kind of, they're similar to a muffin, basically. Um, 
and a little, little bit of uh, butter as well, obviously. Um, and I had a cup of tea as well, Earl Grey tea. Uh, again, quite a British uh, thing. And I'm very weird in that I have my Earl Grey tea with a splash of milk, which is generally very frowned upon, but um, I like it, so I don't care. Um, it just, for me, it takes a little bit of the, the bitterness out of it. I'm not a, a big fan of bitterness, but it, it brings through the other flavours of Earl Grey, so that's why I like it. I need to go over there to this chest, don't I? Um, anyway, so I was eating my breakfast. Had my, uh, uh, I was just finishing off my muffins, and uh, I thought, no, no, I'll just play a couple of missions on XCOM 2. I had some things to do that day, but I had a good sort of uh, couple of hours or so to kill, so uh, I thought, yeah, you know, I'll play some uh, XCOM 2. I'm really, really loving at the minute. Uh, it's a fantastic game. And if you're into kind of turn based strategy games, then it's, you, know, you can't really go wrong with it. I thoroughly recommend it. But anyway, I digress. I was just playing away, and I don't know how, but my cup of tea was kind of on the left hand side of my desk, and I knocked it right. I, I've never ever knocked over a cup of tea on the desk before. It never occurred to me that it could happen. And it all spilled all over my desk and then off to the side of the right hand side of my desk. Now what's on the floor on the right hand side of my desk? That's right, my PC. So I actually spilled tea physically into my PC. Uh, which I, for want of a better term, crapped myself about. Uh, immediately shut it down. Um, uh, the PC, I immediately shut it down because I was like, well, yeah, this is obviously quite dangerous and it's going to have done some serious damage to my PC. So I shut it down and then I dried it out. So I used, uh, well, I put it on its side. From what I could see, there wasn't any damage to it. Uh, outright, um, but I let it dry out for like a day and a half. Um, just had it on its side with the, the side open, and I used some uh, compressed air just in case there was any sort of water sitting on any components. Now, when I spilled the tea and I shut it down, it shut down fine. I, you know, there wasn't, it didn't like blow up or anything like that. Um, not that I would have expected to, but um, you know, it, it didn't kind of like immediately crash or so I was quite optimistic really um, cool, good I don't need to harvest this farm yet because I've still got 54 buns uh, yeah and uh, so uh, but I was so scared because um, you know I was kind of like oh my god you know what happens if I break my PC now I, I think I spoke about how I just built the second so, uh, but it's you know, nowhere near as good as my actual PC, and I really, really would have been gutted if, um, well, I really, really would have been gutted if I damaged it. But as you could probably tell by the fact that I'm playing on my PC now, it's actually fine, which is a minor miracle, I think. So it's like a minor miracle that it seems to be okay. I've had it on for a few hours and you know, just let it run idly for a bit and then kind of stress test it and all that sort of thing and it, it, it did seem to be working fine. So great. <laughs> um, yeah, miracles do happen. Um, so I was so relieved at that, obviously, as you can imagine. I was kind of like thinking, oh my god, how am I going to afford to you know, replace these components in my PC? I usually upgrade my PC once a year, but um, I didn't upgrade it this year because I, I built the second PC. Um, and so I will do next year, but you know, I certainly didn't have the budget to uh, uh, repair it this year. But that was just like such a stupid thing to do. You, know, you could kind of ex 
except if a part, if a part breaks or fails, um, you know, you can accept that. But to actually physically do it yourself by spilling a cup of tea, like because the tea spilled onto the top of the PC, and I have like uh, a grating on the top, you know, for ventilation and stuff, so it went straight inside it. I, I, didn't, I can't work out how it's not.
I know there are some mods which give you like a gravestone which is effectively like a, a chest and you can go back and uh, you, can, you can pick up the stuff you lost but um, I think in normal Minecraft, vanilla Minecraft there's no way around that it's just the way it is, you lost it you just have to get you know, good at the game uh, and then we'll go have a nap I do love how these uh, look at night with the shaders on they look so nice I think they just look really warm um, but yeah I think also maybe I haven't addressed something as well which I should which is a lot of you might be wondering and probably I don't know what episode number this is going to be like maybe 15 or 16 something like that um, or maybe less but uh, why I always have that kind of bar at the top because um, obviously you can play Minecraft in full screen but for some really weird reason I get terrible performance on Minecraft when I play it full screen um, I would imagine that I haven't updated something or somewhere along the line but um, uh, also the other thing is for another reason the recording software I'm using doesn't seem to recognize Minecraft um, I use Shadowplay to record which is a free recording uh, program uh, which as long as you have an NVIDIA graphics card which I do then uh, you can use it and it's actually very good I found it records to a good level and it has very very minimal impact upon your performance maybe a couple of frames which um, is really I've also found it to be pretty stable. I've only lost a couple of uh, records to kind of corruption and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, it, I found it to be pretty good. I, mean, I, don't, I don't know other people's, uh, you know, views might vary, which is fine. You know, I think the thing about PCs is because they're not all equal. I.e., they don't use the same components. They don't necessarily have the same things installed on them. Uh, opinions on things that can be very different uh, of what works and what doesn't work uh, so but yeah I find Shadowplay to be um, very good never not had a problem with it uh, so I think we'll come here on one and then we'll go across
shader pack. I've got currently um, only supports 1.8, which is fine. I don't think there's, I'm missing out too much. Um, I don't stay 100% kind of like in tune with the latest Minecraft snapshots and things like that. Um, when something big comes out, I will obviously update it. Some diamonds and things like that. I will record the mining. 